Hello, besties, and welcome back. Welcome if y'all are new. It is your girl, Jazzy J, on the mic. This is Earth Vibes Tarot. This is a Capricorn only channel, but you are all very welcome here to the messages. Sit back, relax, take a chance, my love. Smash your like buttons. Leave a comment down below if you would like to do so. Just don't forget to make sure that you guys are subscribed here to the channel for more content and for more of me. I love and appreciate y'all so, so much. We are going to get into this new love reading. So I did do another new love, What's the Tea reading, and it turned out to be more of like a career oriented reading so I'm still gonna post that um, and it probably is already posted when you guys are seeing this but I said let me do um, trying to get focused into that love energy for you guys so we can see what is going on so let's go ahead and tap in to see what is the tea with this new love new person new energy that seems to be coming in here Capricorn what does Capricorn need to know or be aware of as it relates to new love a new person a new energy in which they are connecting to here please spirit wow twin flame spiritual alignment effortless karmic <clears throat> this is something that is surprising unexpected it's coming in we got a lot of energies here let's just get one more one one more yeah so we have past life, knowing deja vu or past love. I feel like this is a, a connection in which you guys feel like you already know each other or there is this instantaneous type of connection. There is this instantaneous type of feeling and it's, it's you know, passion fueled, of course, but there's also this like intellectual mental type of connection that's going on with y'all as well. We have control with new love and true gem. So I feel like this is, this is your way of knowing that you have to kind of release control with this person. You have to let go here a little bit and you have to just allow for the situation to truly unfold in the manner that it, it needs to. And here's this money thing. I feel like this, this career energy is having something to do with this person or is having something to do with how you're meeting this person, how you guys are are connecting it's money finance as well some sort of energy here and travel is a part of the situation we have travel mature woman and obstacles i feel like this this there's this feminine energy feminine quality there to really take care of self do something for self and i feel like it is coming across in the form of this this uh money career travel relocation type of energy because we got the relocation card in that last reading that we did with the new love what's the tea so let's dive into this capricorn let's see what's going on we're going to take a look at this person's energy and then we'll take a look at thoughts feelings intentions here please spirit so we're going to get an overall energy for this person Show us the overall energy of the person that Capricorn may be connecting to or coming into contact with this new love, new energy, new person. So we have death, scorpionic energy. This is somebody who is totally, totally different than, than what you're used to. Yeah, we have the star, the ten of pentacles, and the seven of swords. I feel like this person is truly going to show up kind of really unexpectedly out of the blue. And I, I'm, I'm getting this energy of something is happening at night. Like there is this nighttime energy involved here. So whether this is something that like you're meeting and up you end up meeting this person in the nighttime, in the evening time, or maybe there's this person that has been kind of, you know, swift kind of around you, moving around you, but really, I hate to say watching because people always take that, take that wrongfully, but it's like, y'all do realize when y'all know information about, um, your coworkers, about people in your community, about famous people, that's what that watching energy is. That people always say, I don't got this, I don't got that. People can be thinking about you. You thinking about somebody who don't want you is coming in as the watching energy as well. So you have to really be understanding of what watching is because of course, not everybody has social media, but people can daydream. People can reminisce, right? Maybe you do have social media. Maybe this person is looking at your account. Maybe they're looking at your LinkedIn. 
maybe you know there's there's so many different ways that this could come across so there is this kind of they're in your they're in your general vicinity type of energy like and i feel like this person so we have that scorpionic energy with um death that's coming out here i do feel like this person again is some someone that is transformed i feel like they are someone that again you're not used to someone you may have not necessarily come into um, contact with here before. I do feel like this person has a lot of love. They have a lot of emotion. They may not necessarily, you know, outright show that, but this person does have a lot of love and emotion. And that seven of swords and the star energy coming together, Aquarian energy. Again, I do feel like this person is in, in deep thought about you, about the connection, or just about what they want here, right? So there's a lot of processing that this person is doing. And then the Ten of Pentacles, I'm going to be very honest, this is that divinely, spiritually fueled type of energy. Yeah, look, the Hierophant was just trying to come out there. It's it's like the, the marriage. It's the unification. It's the family. It's the long-term relationship. Um... This is serious. Like it's it's this is something that somebody seriously wants. Like they feel in alignment with you and what your energy is and and what you guys are looking for. With the 7 of pentacles and the 4 of pentacles coming out here, I'm going to be very honest. It feels like there has been this thought process, there's been this introspection, there has been this review that somebody has been going through and holding on to this like they've been to themselves so really single like I feel like this person is single not mingling just really working on themselves really pouring into themselves and this energy is honestly coming across as like I'm thinking about long term I'm thinking about this established energy the seven and the four leads us to the three again I feel like this person is putting a lot of energy and effort into themselves self-expression creation um, and integrating like their mind, body, soul type of energy for their their own life here. The Knight of Swords, Six of Wands, the Emperor. Yeah, this is this person truly putting in the work on themselves because they know they're going to have to come forward or come correct um, towards you here. So let's take a look at this person's feelings. How's this person feel towards Capricorn, please, Spirit? Wow, the Ace of Cups. Love is overflowing, my loves. The love is overflowing, my loves. And I really do like this. This is this is some some big energy. This is Yeah, look. We have the chariot and we have the eight of cups. That eight of cups was trying to come out in reverse, and they want me to be very clear about this. Some of you are dealing with somebody that you once were connected to. Don't don't cut the message here and don't go down to the comment section talking about I don't want nobody from the past because I see y'all and y'all all look corny as hell when you comment shit like that. Because that's how I know you're not listening. If it doesn't apply to you, you don't need to comment. You're just triggered because you you think that it's applied to you. If you really are over somebody then you'll know for a fact it's not applied to you. But y'all get so her and you get in them comments so quick. I don't want nobody from the past. And you stop listening. I don't think you were ever listening to begin with, to be honest with you. But go off. You know what I'm saying? So let's listen. Comprehension is critical. Critical thinking is vital. Vital signs are vital. Okay? So assessment of the situation. A lot of people lack assessment skills as well. So here we go. Let me teach you. Ace of Cups, this person's feelings, that's not going to change. What is changing is how this is being applied. You're not the only one watching this video. And you're not the only person that I'm talking to. Which is why I'm saying for a small group of people, this will be somebody that you were connected to. Do you know how many people have been together, broken up, healed, worked on themselves separately, haven't gotten in new relationships, and then have come back? 
Not everybody is in your situation. Not everybody gets in relationships and then they end up with somebody and it says back and forth, back and forth. And the other person ends up with somebody and you are back and forth with other people, but y'all are still back. Some people's lives aren't that messy. So relax. So there are people that go through situations here that end up getting back with people or getting back with a person that they once had a connection with. There's nothing wrong with that, especially if people healed. And again, you can't expect people to believe that you healed if you can't believe that other people heal. Doesn't make any sense. And that that's another thing. Same people in the comments. I don't want nobody from the past or the same people who aren't actually doing any work, but go off. You know what I'm saying? So understand that there is going to be a group of people who are reconnecting with somebody again that past life energy is there we can't ignore it and I'm not going to ignore the entire message that's coming through so there is a small group that's dealing with that but there's also a small group that's dealing with somebody that is new you have walked away from your past you're creating a brand new beginning and you're inviting in an energy that feels different this person if you are dealing in that that collective of the past is going to feel different just because the person is the same doesn't mean their energy is the same because you have worked on yourself enough for your energy to be different, right? All right, let's, okay. Congratulations. I have taught you assessment. <laughs> let's go ahead and keep going here. So the chariot, the eight of cups, and I'm going to be honest, this energy is coming in quite vigorously, vigorously and swiftly. So this person's feelings, they run very deep, right? It's not surface level. It's not like, it's almost like this person is ready to drop everything and to be with you, right? That eight of cups energy is giving that as well. So we have the wheel and the knight of cups. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. This person is intending to come forward. They're intending and planning to make some sort of a move. They're intending to open themselves up. And again, to the group of people that always comment, I don't want nobody from the past. The past doesn't want you back either. Trust me. So don't worry about it. They don't want you either. Okay. So don't, don't be so, so fond of yourself. Okay. Like we all have to like be a little bit humble. And when I think that sometimes I'm like, shit, they probably don't want me either. That's fine. But you got to be real with yourself. Like, don't be so full of yourself sometimes, you know? The Wheel and the Knight of Cups. Yeah, bottom of the deck is Strength, Page of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. This person has been planning, working, putting in the energy, putting in the effort. They're they're in their head about this a lot, especially with the Star, the Seven of Swords, um, Death even here, Seven of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles. There's a lot of closed off energy. They're not necessarily communicating. So whomever this is, when they come forward, oh, they're going to come correct. Like, you're not going to have to worry about that. And this person's going to come forward like, bad out, like X, Y, Z, one, two, three type shit. You know what I'm saying? You're not going to have to worry about that. We've got the five of swords coming out here. And we have strength coming out here. Mm. And we have this King of Cups coming out here. Some of you may have rejected this person in the past. But that's not going to be for all of you. This person has been hesitant. They're going to take action, but there's been this mental block that they've been dealing with that they've been trying to overcome. This person is the King of Cups, the Emperor. They're coming forward, correct? They're coming forward with love. They're coming forward with emotion. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be clear. But the Hangman and the Moon and the Knight of Pentacles is giving me a lot of pause energy. It's giving me a lot of like kind of walking through through quicksand a little bit. Um because this person is trying, like they're working through this energy. They're working through this mental block of coming forward because I feel like they know and you know, yeah, look, Ace of Pentacles, they know and you know that once this offering kind of comes out, y'all's lives are going to change forever because of how quickly things are going to advance. So there's, there's almost like this morning of what life is now. Told you, Ten of Cups. 
I don't make this shit up and I don't do this for play play. I don't do this for entertainment. I do this shit for real. I'm just funny. That's the difference. Um, <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. Um, this, this person is going to come correct. They're going to come and be for real because they know, they know that once this offering is made, they know what you're going to say. Right. And it's going to change the trajectory of your entire life, your life, their life, both of y'all's lives coming together. And it's almost like, again, this morning of what was in order to be ready for what is. But it's let me get this out because my life is getting ready to change forever. This person is looking for long term. Again, the hangman, the moon and the knight of pentacles at the bottom of the deck trying to find that energy really working through that last bit of shit in order for me to come forward and say something and offer up this this new beginning ace of pentacles brah you already know what the deal is all right let's um close this out let's close this out ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba. let's close it out The trusty, dusty romance angels coming through. Angel spirits and guys, we thank you so much for these beautiful messages and the connections that we are tapping into. What are the closing messages here for Capricorn as it relates to this energy? So we have love yourself first. Self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. We have attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And we have flirt with stay optimistic about your love life. Capricorn, you continuing to work on yourself and mind your business um, is truly what is attracting somebody to you. This flirt energy extends your lighthearted energy to others. Um, it's that, what I've been saying, opening up, being a little bit va-va-voom type energy. Um to show that you're open, to show that you're ready. But this is coming through with that positive, stay pos or stay optimistic about your love life because this positive thinking will help bring more romance into your life because you're doing it for yourself, you're loving yourself, and you're giving your energy out. It attracts people to you. Bottom of the deck is reconciliation, calling in your soulmate and passion with keep an open mind. Again, a lot of you are going to be dealing with somebody that's coming in this keep an open mind, energy, passion, calling in your soulmate, somebody that is a complete 180 from what you're used to. And there's a small group of you that will be reconciling with somebody here. Okay. But that's what we got capricorn thank you so much this was a beautiful reading i hope you found something insightful and that it resonated if you did you guys know what to do smash that like button leave a comment down below and i'll speak to you in the next one